This is the entrance to the lab. Well, this is a secluded place. I'm impressed that Rubilia could find it. Before Rubilia repurposed it into her lab, it used to be an abandoned factory. I'll take you straight to the testing labs. Stay close, and don't wander off. The lab's primary power has been cut. We'll need to restore the lighting first. Huh? Huh? The power control console is right over there. This was used as a showroom for data on Phase 1 of Project Listener. Even though the information is already public, you can still take a look around, if you want. How many things did Rubilia hide in here? The entire Project Listener Phase 1 research is here. We're only seeing a small part of it. Oh! Look out! Better be careful. It's not over yet. Didn't say the gray space entities may still be active here. Maybe a test subject got free. Stay on your toes and prepare for any surprise attack from gray space entities. The lower labs are right up ahead. Follow me.
gives me the chills. The Grayspace entities in stasis were key subjects used for Rubilia's research. We may be able to find some clues that I missed previously. some research samples here. The key research data is kept in Rubilia's quarters. Follow me. That small room ahead is Rubilia's living quarters. Is Dr. Rubilia living there all by herself? N no way. There's no way we can get through so many gray space entities. She's no mad scientist. There were just things that she... had to do. Let's head inside. Maybe we'll find some useful information.